What's up guys, and we got a Repset our UK clutch here for a BMW. Now, it's in the web, all the instructions are fairly vague on these, so we're just going to do a quick install video. So this is the pre-tension clutch, so we don't need to use the tension gear from this. The only part we need from this is the sanitary pins. So all we're going to start off by doing is getting our friction plate and making sure we've got the correct dowel it's snugly in the middle. So we're going to get at that dowel and we're going to pop it in the flywheel. See, lock the flywheel because you want to tighten the bolts. We don't have a flywheel locking tool for this one so I'm currently using a Renault cam tool which fits on there to stop the flywheel from moving. So now we're going to get a friction plate to slot that on. So now we've got a friction plate as you can see got the gearbox side here so that doesn't go on the flywheel and we're just going to slot that on. So as you can see that, flat, that friction plate is firmly and centered inside there. Make sure your flywheel is nice and clean. Obviously we're putting a new flywheel on this one and we've torqued all the flywheel bolts for 20 millimeters. So now we've got our friction plate installed. We're now gonna pop on the pressure plate. So using the big dowels. There you go, okay. Onto the flywheel. So now our clutch plate is on. So as you can see, we just slot onto the dowels. One, two, and three. We're gonna untie our new bolts, always renew the bolts, flywheel and clutch bolts. And we're just gonna hand tighten them up and then we're gonna quarter return them. We're not gonna torque them up just yet. So we're gonna get them flush and then quarter return. So now we've got more hand tight going in the style pattern. So obviously one, two, three, four, five, six. We're now going to put a run key in. The same again in the star pattern. So from here to there. That's all we're going to do on each bolt. So now we've got those done at a quarter for two. We're going to get our 14 mil Allen key. And we're just going to undo that pre tensioner. slightly done but we're going to need two hands but you need to undo it fully so now you've got that removed we need to remove this center using a little magnet so that's the clutch plate fully aligned and now we've got that aligned pre-tensioner out we can now torque our clutch pressure plate bolts up so we got our set to 15 newton meters so they're 15 newton meters and then 90 degree turn so we do that in the style pattern as well so let's get that tightened down so that was it guys we got our clutch bolts tightened to 15 newton meters and then 19 degrees so that is all installed now all we've got to do is change the release bearing and arm in our gearbox and then we'll refit the gearbox now for those who don't have a pre-tensioned clutch you have to use this kit, obviously I can't show you because ours is pre-tensioned. But you get the right size studs, which you put free into the flywheel. You put this tool on, you tighten it down until the pressure arms are close. Obviously this tool, you have multiple attachments to line up the friction plate. And then obviously those ones too. Once you've got the studs in and you've got that on, those tighten onto it and just tighten it down with that. And nip up your bolts, don't torque them, then release the pressure off slightly and then torque them down. So, I hope this video has helped, guys. <coughs> See, on this one, we're doing a starter as well. The reason why we're doing a flywheel starter and a clutch is because it had a new clutch in October. 
but it wasn't installed correctly. It went to main dealer and they said it was just a battery, but I took a look at it and I noticed all the flywheel teeth were damaged. The starter was just turning, it wasn't actually engaging because the teeth were worn out. And as you can see, they didn't set the clutch properly, so it's been burning the flywheel. <coughs> well, no, get our arm in. What are these spare and fitted? See, there is steps in there for this as well. So, I'm gonna get that done. We'll catch you in the next video, guys.